Hello everybody, my name is Moist Kopix, and today I wanted to talk about something very heinous. Today I want to talk about something that's horrible, uh, atrocious, uh, and downright unforgivable. And that thing that I wanted to talk about was my tier list video, specifically my second tier list video, where I had the audacity, the, the gumption, the, the sheer bull testicles, if you will, to give a particular show an F tier. And what is, what is that show, you may be asking? That show is Madoka Magica, or, or Puela Madoka Magica, something like that. I got a few comments about this, and I, I thought that I would make make a video about this, because I was wrong. I had never given the show a watch. I, I had given the show about three episodes of a watch, and then just stopped because I couldn't get into it. And then I, I was, I was going to leave it there, but enough people left comments and dislikes to warrant at least going through the whole thing. And I did. And I can soundly say that I was wrong. So this is my mini review and re-ranking, as you will see at the end of the video. For those of you who have never heard of this show, Madoka Magica is about middle school age girls, some middle school age girls in a futuristic society are being given the opportunity to have any wish that they want granted in exchange for becoming magical girls. And when you become a magical girl, you have to go out and fight witches. I don't know if this was obvious, it's pretty obvious to me. If you're being made to fight witches, then obviously becoming a magical girl is not a good thing, and therefore the fa the fox white creature whose name is escapes me at the moment. Now this fox's name is Cube. I'm going to try to remember that for the rest of the video. I basically from episode one had bad vibes about Cube, about being a bad guy, and I don't know, some comments were talking about a bait and switch at episode three or in, in that area, and I think it was about mayhaps him being not the greatest. I, I don't know if that's if that's what they were talking about. Uh, but I do know a particular moment that people were talking about, and I did see that upon my viewing and ranking of Madoka Magica the first time. I'm going to try not to get into any spoilers. But I, I think I know what you mean, and I I don't know what to say. I kind of saw that one coming a mile away. The first ten episodes were pretty uneventful. I didn't really like it all them. I'd give it like a C tier, like not horrible, but I'd, I'd give it a C tier until about episode ten of twelve. Ten of twelve, I I'll give it like a B tier at the end. It it was a bit of a bummer if, if I'm being if I'm being honest. It, it it wasn't like the promised Neverland bad or like Mom's homemade tuna casserole bad, but it was definitely a bummer uh, to try to trying not to get into spoilers. But the one of the characters ends up with a fate worse than death. And then they kind of try to write it off. It's like, no, 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 this is a good thing. Oh, it's okay. Oh, blah, blah. It's like, yeah, it's horrible, but she's okay with it. And it's like, nope, that that's awful. That I, I hate that. I would hate that. Absolutely hate that. And that was just the taste that was left in my mouth after watching it. And that's one of the most important things to to get your audience on a TV show is... The end is the beginning of the first episode, the end of the first episode, and the very end of the show. Because the first episode will tell you, oh, I'm gonna, if I can, am I going to keep watching this? And then the end is kind of just wraps up the entire croissant of the show, of the movie, of, of whatever medium it is. And it's it's just, it, it left like just like a, oh, that's, that, oh, oh, uh, bleh. Blah. But I would still give it a B tier. But because it took to episode 10 of 12 to get interesting, in my opinion, which is basically gospel 
which I'm sure you know. I'm going to take Madoka Magica and move it from F tier to C tier. That That's my opinion. I think C is, is totally worthy of this. Some people might give it a B tier. I totally understand that. After that, I really don't get it. A tier, maybe. Maybe. Like, if you just forgive how okay... 75% of the show was then then fine but you, you can't, I in I can't just forgive three quarters of a show the, the majority like vast majority of the show being okay and very predictable so for me stays at C tier uh, apparently there are movies that are coming out let me see if I've seen them but well uh, I can't type and thing at the same time. I only ever watched what was on Funimation. Apparently there is... quite a few movies that I haven't seen. I only, like I said, I only watched what was on Funimation. So if you think that I should watch the movies, if they make the entire series better, then be sure to leave a comment. And I'll, I'll do that. Otherwise, I think I'm gonna watch some other shows and play Skyrim again. I'm like 400, 400 hours into that. But anyway, I hope you liked this video. Uh, I've been Moist Copix, and uh, as you can see, I I spent quite a bit of money on making this video. Uh, I, I haven't spent this much money on a video since I tried to deep throat enough candy canes to make me a Khalifa blush. So anyway, that's about it. See ya.